I can record everything that I do on the headland and, and activate it through the uh, the go N buttons on the uh, on the joystick. And so to access the uh, the uh, headland TI feature is I can either find the uh, the tile and uh, and open it, or I can go to the uh, the tractor launch pad and uh, and press on the button uh, up here. And then we come in for the sequence names. Is I can uh, unlock it, uh, and uh, and then I can start to uh, before I make any any changes. And then I'm choosing effectively which button I want to uh, to program up. So sequence one, as it's labelled up here, represents the, uh, the 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 top go button. Sequence two represents the bottom end button. Sequence three, the small go button, and sequence four, then the uh, the small uh, end button. On there, and I can choose then as to which one I want to uh, to program. So if I program sequence one, now I can, if I want, to, so I could tap in here, and I could actually change it. instead of it saying sequence one, I could uh, change that name and say uh, drill um, down, and uh, and save that there. On the side here, then is I've got some choices. I could uh, either choose what we call is uh, edit offline. And, uh, and 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 manually uh, type in my uh, my headland sequence. I could then record my sequence as I'm driving forwards, as I'm pressing buttons uh, on the on the armrest. Is it will uh, note those down and uh, and populate there and uh, and any of the distances that I do as well. I could then play back that uh, that sequence as well, just to make sure I've got it uh, got it correctly. And then we've got this button here, which is uh, greyed out at the moment because we've got nothing uh, sat in this box here. But effectively then, that is just how then the sequence plays through. So if, it's, uh, if the box is tipped over to, uh, to this side, is the sequence will play through either using the distance uh, or timers uh, in there. And so everything will go through in the sequence automatically. If it's highlighted to this uh, hand symbol only, is I then need to be pressing either my go button or my end button, whichever one I've programmed up uh, in there, and it will uh, it will only then advance on through a sequence as and when I uh, I press that button to go to the uh, go to the next step. When you're looking at building up a, uh, a headland sequence, is we have these these options down the uh, down the bottom here. And the first one then is the uh, the travel direction. So is to uh, which way I'm going before the sequence will uh, activate it. So where I'm going forwards, going backwards, or it doesn't matter which direction I'm going. As soon as I hit the uh, hit the go button or the end button, my sequence will uh, will still trigger uh, on there. So we we make that uh, selection first. We can then look at the uh, look at the trigger it's, uh, itself. Um, in here, so looking at the uh, the trigger type, so the hand icon means that uh, you're uh, you're physically pressing either the go or the end button again to uh, to trigger that sequence. The line with the S would be after a set uh, set distance. Here then is we got front linkage, so this would be linking into a percentage of the uh, of the link front linkage height. Same again with the rear linkage, um, either a lowering height, potentially for the lowering height, or potentially the lifting height, or after a particular particular time. And then for each of the uh, particular functions, we could look at the front PTO, uh, front linkage and PTO in there. So we got to, you know lifting the uh, the front linkage, lowering the front linkage, linkage into uh, into float, uh, stopping the front linkage. A speed drop of the of the front linkage, so it go past your your working depth, and then we could do a, a speed linkage stop, so then it return back up um, to your working depth. We've got starting the PTO and stopping the PTO, and very similar then with the uh, with the rear linkage. We still got lifting height, lowering. We've got lowering and then activating the uh, the wheel slip control as uh, as well. We've got uh, linkage down in float. Linkage down and float with uh, with uh, wheel slip control being activated. Linkage stop, speed drop of the rear linkage, speed drop stopping of the rear linkage, selecting then of a uh, of a PTO speed, and again then we've got stopping of the of the PTO. So we can make those choices. Similar story then with the uh, with the valve. So we've got uh, stop pumping of the valve, 
putting the valve into float, uh, pressuring down with the valve, utilising a timer or, uh, or, or putting positive pressure in the valve, utilising a timer. Cost of the engine transmission then we can see selection of either cruise control 1 or cruise control 2 or, or, uh, or deactivating the cruise control. Again, engine preset 1, preset 2 or turning off the engine presets. Four wheel drive buttons, or four wheel drive auto, four wheel drive permanent, turn off four wheel drive. Same story then for the uh, for the diff lock, diff lock auto, diff lock fully engaged, turn off diff lock, activating TMS, turning TMS on, activating pedal mode, uh, deactivating pedal mode as well. And then under the steering symbols, then we've got uh, engage auto steer, uh, disengage auto steer, and then we've got then is is the uh, activating of the uh, of the quick steer or deactivating of the uh, of the quick steer